By the time the story arrives at Noah, a lot has changed on Earth and in this narrative. And one of the primary things is the population of the Earth. To help us get a better picture of how many people there may have possibly been on Earth at the time of Noah's arrival in this story, there's a few things we want to take a look at. So let's break it down. Today, around the world, there is on average roughly 2.5 kids born into every family. Because I suck at math, in order to make things a little bit easier for myself, we're going to round 2.5 up to 3. Now, starting with Adam and Eve, what would happen if they had three kids who had three kids who had three kids who had three kids? Well, by the time we got to Noah, there would have been just under 20,000 people born. But that's with today's numbers. In the Bible story, there's a lot of variables though. First off, God had told humans and given them the instructions to be fruitful and multiply. So let's just assume that they did that. Without getting carried away, let's take our number from three and just bump it up to four. Now, we also need to take into consideration the fact that the Bible highlights that people during this part of the story were living significantly longer than people live today. They were having kids into their hundreds, which means the window of opportunity for people to have kids and raise a family would have more than doubled compared to today. Include this with the lack of access to birth control? What if, because of these variables, the average children per family doubles and jumps from four to eight. This isn't an exactly impossible number to fathom because the Bible does highlight many families with numerous kids Then we'll also sometimes go on to say and had other sons and daughters. So if we base things off of this assumption and we say that starting with Adam and Eve, they had eight kids who had eight kids who had eight kids who had eight kids. The number of people born by the time our story gets to Noah would have been over 130 million. Now, obviously there would have been deaths, barren women, trouble giving birth, and other variables that would have impacted this number. However, the important thing to know is that when the story arrives at Noah, the earth was decently populated. Which is why it makes sense when the Bible tells us that at this point in the story, men and women had developed and advanced to a point where they were creating instruments and forming iron. My name's Ross, and I'm here to talk to you about the Bible. The average person can't just pick up a Bible and read it like a normal book, which is why most people have no idea it actually contains a piercing story that would entertain anyone. So to bring you that, I'm doing this. I'm here to tell you a story. Experience a book you think you know like you never have before. So stick around.